division bout. And now our tail of the tape for this lightweight scrap. Two years apart, these two fighters. Some differences in height and reach as well. Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, USA Assassin. And now he his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. The Nightman! Here we go, first row, you ready? You ready? Let's go, come on! Looping left hand misses the target. Tags him. Both guys... Oh! Oh! Huge right hand! He's got him hurt here. Oh, very nice. Oh, big shot. Oh. Big shot to the left. He's stunned. Powerful left hand. Oh, so an interesting decision there as he decides to stand up and relinquish the dominant position. And there he swung with a haymaker. Oh! This could be it right here. Oh, look at this! Who saw that coming? Very nice. How about that chin? Oh, another shot! He's hurt bad! Wow! This could be it! He got nailed in the body. He is in big trouble here. Under three minutes now to go in what has been a very fast-paced opening round here. There he goes, turning sidekick. Nice defense there, huge block. Well, he gets back to the head there, Joe. He continues to be vulnerable by leaning in. Oh, he's hurt again! Oh, that's it. Do you believe it? It was that huge knee to the body that stopped this fight. Yeah, you're right, Joe. It was that one big strike that started it all, led to the knockdown, and ultimately opened up an opportunity for him to force the referee stoppage in this fight. He was flurrying. He wanted to make sure he kept the judges out of the equation. Mission accomplished on that front as he gets the TKO victory here tonight. Let's see it one more time. So a big win for him here tonight, and a big statement made with that TKO.